Mountain Park Zoo in Seattle is expecting for the first time ever, the zoo is sharing ultrasound images of a baby gorilla. 22-year-old gorilla, a Kenji, will give birth to her first baby at the end of June or early July. Joining us to continue the conversation this morning is Rachel Vass, an interim animal care manager who works directly with the gorillas at Woodland Park Zoo. Good morning to you, Rachel, and you sure do have a cool job. Good morning. Yes, thank you. I am very lucky. It, it is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, this is this is such exciting news for the zoo. Talk with us about why the zoo decided to share these ultrasound images. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. This isn't the first time we've actually gotten ultrasound images, but it is the first time we've shared them. Um, we got some pretty spectacular images this time. Um, the technology is advanced and we have continued to grow and use that. And as the imaging gets better, we get better images to share with people. It's a lot easier to interpret some of these ultrasound photos than it is um, ones in the past. So this is a really critical uh, tool that we use to help monitor the birth progression, make sure that the fetus is still developing. It's a coordinated effort between keeper staff and our animal health staff also. So it takes a lot of training and desensitization, but it is a critical tool that we use to help assess the health and progression of both mom and baby. It's so cool <laughs> to get a look at this. And I understand the zoo got these images without using anesthesia on a Kenji. How was that done? Done. And what else do you Absolutely. train gorillas to participate in pregnancy tests like, like humans do? <laughs> Yeah, so it is. All of our training is done voluntarily. Um, we do not force, we can't force anyone to do anything. So we simply ask them to cooperate and we work with positive reinforcement through operant conditioning. They know that um, we're not going to be hurting them. And it's a, it's a relationship of trust that the keepers build with the animals. And um, through that training and those relationships, we're able to have them voluntarily participate in uh, training sessions that allow us to do things like this. Um, they are trained for all sorts of things, other medical um, necessities, injection training, if we need to sedate them for a procedure. Um, we do urine collection training. So that's how we were able to get mm. <laughs> urine to test her pregnancy. Um, they pee into a stick or a cup. We test it every day. We check for blood. We can track their menses. And then when we know someone is in a breeding situation, we know when to look for um, missed menses. And then we can get a pregnancy test and test it. We use a human test that you buy at the oh store. My goodness. Wow. <laughs> Just like us. This is, <laughs> yep, absolutely. this is why I love gorillas. Okay. So you find out a Kenji's pregnant, then what's next? What goes into her care at the zoo during pregnancy and how's she doing today? Um, she's doing great. Um, she is starting to slow down a little bit. She's nearing the end of things. And just like humans, that last month or two, there's a lot of rapid progression. That fetus is really growing and developing. She is actually showing now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can see a big belly bump, and she is very sleepy and tends to spend a lot of her day resting. Um, in terms of preparation, once we know they're pregnant, we don't change much in their management. Um, unless they are feeling morning sickness, we do see that with individuals sometimes. Luckily, Akenji has not had that issue, um, but sometimes we'll need to adjust their diets, get them things that are a little more palatable. Um, we do start females on prenatal vitamins just to make sure they're getting all of that extra nutrient that the fetus also needs. So what is the and then we can oh, I'm sorry, continue all of that maternal training as they move through the progression of the pregnancy also. And I was going to ask you, what's the process like once uh, the gorilla has a baby at the zoo? And is there a time frame before we can see the baby as, as just public viewers? Um, yeah, so generally it depends on where she gives birth. We tend to leave the group alone and let them take care of it themselves. Uh, they know what to do. If there's any complications and she needs to be separated, we can pull her aside and separate her out from the group. Um, we're hoping she gives birth in holding. They have an off view um, set of bedrooms that are secure for the night. Uh, typically that is where they give birth, but we have had births on exhibit before, if that happens. Hmm. Everybody that's here that day is very lucky. Oh <laughs> um, as long as there are no major medical issues, we do not intervene. We leave the group as 
are, and as long as they are managing and behaving appropriately towards mom and baby, that is the perfect scenario. Of course, we are um, ready to intervene if we need to. We have contingency plans. We have backup plans if we need to assist, rear, or help hand rear the baby. Just let nature do its thing. Yeah. Like the group, they got it. Like, yeah. they will be fine. Do your thing. Okay, Absolutely. This is, this is fascinating. <laughs> Something else we found interesting in the original release about Akinji is this eco-cell program. Can you tell us what that is and how it helps preserve the gorilla habitat and also how people can get involved? Yes, absolutely. We love that we have a partnership with the EcoCell program. Um, it's something I think most people are not aware of. Every electronic device you own, your cell phones, your tablets, your e-readers, everything, it has a mineral in it called coltan, and that is mined out of the uh, forests in Africa. So there's a lot of forest destruction and dehabitation caused by the mining for coltan. Um, by coming to Woodland Park Zoo and recycling your electronic devices in any of our EcoCell boxes, it helps to eliminate that. They can extract the coltan from the old devices, re-energize it and use it in new devices. So the mining is cut down when we start recycling our devices. And we have um, we have drop boxes for EcoCell at our main gates, and we also have one right in front of the gorilla exhibit. Just amazing. I'm so excited to see the baby once it comes and just hope that she continues to do well. So we're sending some good mm -hmm. thoughts to Kenji. Absolutely. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, yeah. Thanks so much for joining us on Arc Seattle Thank this morning, you. Rachel. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. How insightful and educational is that? I know. I'm excited. They're just like us. They really yeah. are. Some similarities, you know, between humans and gorillas and it's going to be fascinating to see that whole process play out and if though you know she gives birth in the exhibit if you're say. one of the visitors <laughs> like you're getting quite the show that day can you imagine no <laughs> wow wow we went to go see the gorillas not too long ago at Wilton yes. park zoo when we visited the penguins we got to say hi to the gorillas mm -hmm. too and yeah they were just living life yeah eating food and i yeah. can't remember if we saw kenji while we were there we probably did. We probably did. She was in the front. Oh, yeah, I guess she was so. in a we prime spot. Two or three of them there. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got to see her when she was <laughs> fairly pregnant. There you go.